Hey guys, it's Sneaky Wombat42, and um, I just thought I got so excited over this program I found. Um, I figured I'd share and give a little tutorial um about it because it's actually really cool. Granted, it is not free. I am only using the seven-day trial version right now, but it is a really good program, and I think it's well worth the money if you want to buy it. There are ways to get a discount on it too. Um, anywho, so. This is called, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Movavi. That's how I've been pronouncing it in my head, but it's M-O-V-A-V-I. Move, A-V-I, I, I don't know, it's up to you. But this thing's cool, because you can, I don't really know about this ad DVD and ad 3D, because I haven't really played with that, but you can record your audio directly on this. You can capture video directly with this through a webcam, and you can just add the media files, and... Um, you can add effects and fit here. I'll, uh, let's add one of my videos. Best of, you remember that? Best, you know, my best of video. Anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to take that video and we're going to drag it down here into the project. Alright, so now it's in the project. And what we can do is, here, let's add another we're gonna add something else. Let's add, say, um, uh, <laughs> let's add just my Sanic Ball video. It's whatever. All right. So now, um, what I enjoy this for is how easy it is to add a face cam. So let's just pretend my Sanic Ball is my face, although it's a pretty messed up face. So we go to plus, we add a video track, and then we just drag the Sanic ball on down. Okay, now there's two video tracks now. So what we do is we go to effects, and we're on the Sanic ball, and it already does it because I use it. Is it? It's now picture in picture, and then you just drag it in the corner. You make it as big as small as you want, and then you just hit apply, and there you go. It's face cam or you could do have it so the screen is split hang on let's get rid of that effect you can have it so the screen is split so you can take your two videos hang on apply so you can take your two videos and you can go ahead and wherever the other there you go and you can go ahead and do that. See, now it's now both videos. Although there was two of me just going off there, and it was kind of weird. I don't think I liked listening to myself twice. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. Now you got this. And you can also add, like, special effects. Like, I can rotate the video. I can crop certain parts of the video out, like... Get out of here, menu. We only want this. Apply. And it'll only... Apply. I don't know. It is, this is getting weird. There, see? You have to like do something else to get it to actually work. And then there. It cut out only a little bit of it. And... You got some zoom. Some of the effects don't work if you don't have... It was some graphics card stuff that it didn't work for me. But, I mean... It's not that big of a deal. I can get over it. But yeah, um, and you can add all these different color corrections, chroma key, blur, auto filter, artistic adjust. You can add noise, uh, diffuse. There's different filters, which get really cool. And, uh, and then you can fade. Like, say I have this video going on. I'll just put it here after my best of. I have the video happening after this one then I can have it so it, like, fades out into the other one or something. So, like, I'll have it so it blurs out. Actually, I don't think that's what it means. Okay, that's not doing what I wanted it to, and that just got loud. Anyway, so yeah, you've got your special stuff, like fades and... Uh, things that...
go between the videos. And then after all the videos are done, you've got your titles. And what your titles are is, well, obviously your titles. And you can either have animated ones or simple ones. And like, say I, I want to add some simple text. You click on it, double click on it, click settings. You can change the duration, like I want this to last 54 seconds. It's whatever. And then you add the text, like... Stuff like that. Just like that. And then you can even add animation if you want to. And then add shadows to them, brush. Stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, and then that's... This is the program. I, I just... I fell in love with this program, like, immediately. Uh, oh, yeah. And then... I'm just trying to cover all bases here. I want you guys to... You know, if you guys feel like picking this kind of stuff up, I want you to be able to just get straight into it and use this. You can also split the ki yeah, clip into two parts if you want to separate it or if you got to edit it certain things out. <laughs> that moment. That moment. Anyway, yeah. And then you can undo, redo. You can change. And down here, you can change the volume on certain tracks. You can disable them temp You know, while you're working on other stuff. Um, you can, up here, there's title, and then down here, you can add two audio tracks, like say, hang on, say I want to add my usual outro, feeling the bass drop, see, right there, and then, and then it'll play it, oh, there I get sawed in half. That was an interesting moment. Anyway, um, then you can change the volume of that, and then if you right-click on it, you can volume, speed, I can change the speed of it so that it goes a lot faster, because you gotta go fast. <laughs> that sounded really... I don't know if my thing's gonna pick up the sound or not, but, like, that just sounded really interesting on my end. Anyway, I don't know what the original speed was. I think it's 100. I think, yeah, it's percentage. Anyway, yeah, so that's in percentage. Um, And then you can change the volume. And then you can set the fade in or fade out. Like, you can... And then you can show how much of the time in seconds of that music is fading in. So, like, if I put it at 21 seconds, it will spend 21 seconds of that song fading in which is really cool, and, uh, see, over here, you can even separate it, like, if you're working on a huge project, and you've got, like, a bunch of different files that are different, like, video, picture, and audio clips, you can just click up here to separate them, to show the different video, audio, and picture clips, or just have all, and have all of them, and you can have small icons, medium icons, large icons, And then up here, you just new project, open project, save project, save as. And then you can edit up here, and then playback. You can preview it. You can preview the qual or the show the quality of the preview. And oh, look at that! You can even request a feature if you if you think of something really cool for these guys. See, I like the time and effort that was put into this video editor. It's a really nice video editor, and they even have a tutorial there if you don't like mine. If I now activate, yeah. Anyway, um, yes. So this is MoveAvi, MoveAvi, whatever you want to call it. It is a great video editor, and I I have thoroughly liked it, and I think it's really good video editor. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and I hope you continue to enjoy as I figure out how to stop recording. Oh, right there. Okay. I'm using a different video editor or video recorder because my usual one only catches like games, and this one didn't record my desktop, so I had to get a new one. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, and I will see you next time.